The Modal Dialog Intelligent Guided Test is a mostly automated test which walks you through the accessibility testing of your modals. It performs a number of checks including the proper use of the dialog or alert dialog roles, bringing focus to the modal when it's launched, trapping focus within the dialog when it is opened, returning focus to the element which launched the modal once it's closed, and even best practices such as the escape key dismissing the dialog. Let's go ahead and quickly test a modal dialog. The first thing the modal IGT will do is ask me if the modal I'm testing has a button which launches it. In this case, it does. Next, it'll have me select that button, and once I do, it will attempt to automatically open the modal dialog. After the modal dialog has been automatically opened, it runs a number of automatic modal checks, including whether or not focus was trapped within the modal. Next, it asks me if the modal can be dismissed or closed. We can keep in mind that certain alert dialogs are unable to be automatically dismissed. In this case, we can. Once I do that, it will attempt to close the modal automatically with an escape key press, and in this case, it did not actually successfully dismiss the modal. So it then asked me to dismiss it manually using one of my other means, including the close button here in the top right corner. I went ahead and clicked that and hit next. Now it's detected that focus has moved to the body element. It also tells me that the logical element to return focus to is often the triggering element which launched the modal in the first place. I think that should be the case here, so I'm going to say no, this is not the logical element to return focus to. And within a matter of less than a minute, we've actually found four accessibility issues associated with this particular modal. Uh, first, the focus was not brought to the modal dialog when it was initially launched. Uh, next, screen readers were actually able to access the content outside of the modal dialog. After that, we've determined that keyboard focus was not maintained within the modal, and it was actually possible to tab outside of the modal. And finally, when the modal was closed, keyboard focus was not returned to the triggering element. And that's it. That's all it took to test my modal dialog. I hope this helps you on your accessibility testing journey.